The Edward F. Hennessy Professionalism Award honors a CBA member who has demonstrated integrity, character, competence, ethics, civility, and mentoring over the course of her career and has inspired professionalism among other lawyers and pride in our profession. I am pleased to announce that we honor Patricia R. Kaplan's legacy with this Hennessy Award. Pat embodied all of the virtues we consider hallmarks of our profession. As an attorney at New Haven Legal Assistance, and then as the association's executive director, she was a tireless advocate for the less fortunate and underserved members of the community, in the courtroom and out. Pat's commitment to professionalism was also ceaselessly demonstrated by her profound devotion to other attorneys and the bar as a whole. She was a mentor for scores of junior lawyers and legal interns and taught at law schools, using every opportunity to model the highest ideals of the profession to the next generation of lawyers. She served as president of the New Haven County Bar Association, and when its longtime executive director passed away, Pat volunteered her time in retirement to serve as our interim executive director and keep the organization going until a replacement could be found. Pat made a career of giving her time to those who needed it, whether they were members of the public or the bar. Pat passed away in February after a courageous battle with ALS. Up until the end, she offered both pro bono and low bono services directly to clients. She also left her door and her email and her phone lines open to assist both new and experienced lawyers. In this way, she leveraged her energy and her wisdom far and wide for as long as she could do so physically. She was a true champion of access to justice for all and embodied the very highest ideals of the profession. We miss you, Pat, and we thank you for all the work you have done for our communities. It's our profound honor to present this year's Edward F. Hennessy Professionalism Award to Patricia Kaplan. Good evening. I have been a staff attorney at New Haven Legal Assistance for about 30 years, and for most of this time, Pat was the executive director, so I got to see up front how she was as a leader, direct and decisive, but also inclusive. She wanted our organization to be the best law firm it could be to serve our low-income clients as they deserve to be served. It was always clear in good times and in bad that she would choose to expand services when she could and avoid cutbacks in the most challenging times, even if it meant pushing us to take a more risky course. But I would like to talk about how Pat, in addition to mentoring many newer attorneys, was critical to the success of more experienced ones like me. It is not an exaggeration to say that a large portion of my success as a lawyer is due to the unwavering support she provided to me during all of those years of very difficult fights against very powerful adversaries. At the time, I admit I didn't fully appreciate how valuable this was, but looking back on it, few executive directors probably would have given such solid support for so long for my aggressive advocacy strategies, which ultimately paid off for our clients. In 1998, it was Pat who first approached me about the abysmal access to care for children on Medicaid, particularly those in need of mental health services, who had to constantly get approval from risk-based insurance companies with a financial incentive to deny care. Now, 23 years later, colleagues around the country always ask me how it is possible that we were able to entirely rid insurers from the Medicaid program. I always respond first by explaining the various creative strategies we applied and the allies and coalitions we created within legal services and far beyond. But then I state that these strategies ruffled a lot of feathers along the way and that I simply could not have been able to use these methods without Pat's support as against both outside forces and also people at least nominally on our client's side who did not like the heat. Pat demonstrated tremendous integrity in navigating those shoals. But we persisted and we prevailed after a 12 year long campaign. And now since 2012, the Connecticut Medicaid program has both dramatically improved regarding access to care and saving hundreds of millions of dollars for the taxpayers each year. So as this illustrates, I owe a huge part of what I've accomplished in the last 30 years since Pat hired me, I forgot to mention that part, to the unwavering support I got from her all those years. And this includes since she left being executive director some eight years ago, she has continued to support the work I do. 
I need to acknowledge that Pat also recognized that legal services work is difficult work and therefore also supported making sure that the attorneys at New Haven Legal Assistance received reasonable compensation. So in sum, I'm sure that I did not show this enough while she was toiling as our, as our executive director, but in both my professional life and my personal life, I owe Pat a huge debt of gratitude for her strong leadership and friendship and how she captained New Haven Legal Assistance for so long. Pat has had a long and distinguished career entirely dedicated to advocating for low-income families whose poverty denied them access to justice. Her career started in 1979 as a VISTA volunteer with New Haven Legal Assistance, and she later became its executive director, remaining in that role for 21 years where we had adjacent offices. I saw firsthand how she supported and mentored LEA's attorneys, paralegals and support staff, and other legal services executive directors in Connecticut, New England, and indeed throughout the country. She developed close ties with everyone. She met judges, private attorneys, representing our many adversaries, community organizations, funders, both big and small. To say she was well-respected would be a gross understatement. Pat was instrumental in creating a strong relationship between the legal services programs in Connecticut and our state and local bar associations, becoming the first legal services attorney to serve as president of the New Haven County Bar Association, and from there to leadership roles with the Connecticut Bar Association. Her service to the bar assured that access to justice for the poor would become and remain an integral part of the work of the bar. When Pat retired from LAA, she sent an email to everyone in legal services in Connecticut and to the many colleagues she had mentored throughout the country. I still have that 2012 email in which she said, the best part of this job has been the opportunity to brainstorm, discuss, bemoan, celebrate, and share with my colleagues from Connecticut and around the country. You're an amazing group of advocates and I will greatly miss being part of this unique network. I will be opening a small public interest practice, taking pro bono cases from LAA and representing children in contested cases. That small private practice was essentially her cell phone, where she spent several years counseling women who called her for advice on family matters and sometimes representing them in court. That phone number was public, and if you called her, she answered day or night. She always wanted to find ways to make access to an attorney easier and more relatable. I'm absolutely delighted to see Pat honored this evening by the Connecticut Bar Association. She exemplifies all the qualities embodied by the Edward Hennessy Professionalism Award, civility, high ethical standards, and dedication to the profession, and a love of every moment she spent as an attorney.